Welcome to Drum Channel and Anson's TV, and today me and Doug are going to sound like Bill Ward from Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath. So, yeah. I think, well, I just think we should use a black drum kit. But black drum kit, cool. Let's find a black drum kit. There's that one, but that's probably way out of the budget. Oh, that's just the shell pack is nearly three times the budget. Cool. I mean, that we works for me. That. We we, can we that. do three videos in one? Do you reckon Maybe, just say it's yeah, 1500 quid? Um, Very nice drum kit, but out of budget. That is, that's probably a bit too <laughs> far the other direction. <laughs> shall, we, uh, shall we try and sound 300 two, pounds two worth nine of... Nine, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I reckon maybe this down here. Do you know what's sneaky about this? What's sneaky? We don't use any rack toms and the 14 inch floor tom we use as your first rack tom. Oh, okay, interesting. He used like... Huge double yeah, bass yeah, drum does, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. kit. So okay, let's not use any rack toms and just use floors in the bass. Okay, but let's call do that. it the budget. Call it the budget, but not use all of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. And it's black, so it's perfect. Cool. Does it come with hardware? That one does. Yeah. Yeah, comes with hardware. Wicked. Which uh, gives us snare room. Looking through his history of all the gear he's used, yeah. he's changed companies quite a few times. He did use the huge, like Tama, Bell Bronze one for a few okay, years. Okay, right. But that's that more than budget, budget yeah, on its yeah, snare yeah. on its own. So I was mm. thinking just find something big. Well, that's quite deep. What about that one? Blue. That's also super cheap. So right. shall we try and... Okay. Yeah, yeah. Give it a go. So this is a Pearl Modern Utility. Nice. In various different sizes. If we right. go for like old school, like 70s, 80s Black Sabbath. Yeah, yeah. And just make it sound huge, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. That'd be good. Maybe, maybe not moon gel, but maybe some gaffer tape. We'll go yeah. old school gaffer. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll go yeah. old school. Come Which will be black. black, black gaffer black tape. Gaffer. Yeah, yeah, for so Black Sabbath. Everything's black. black. Uh, symbols. What symbols. Does he, what did he do? He's a He's Sabian. A Sabian guy, isn't he? So, hey, let, Sabian. He used huge, bright symbols. Okay. So he's probably got loads of AAXs. Yeah. Like two AAXs will blow our symbol budget. Probably. I was going to say we probably need to go in the more. Budget range, don't we? Mm. So on our wall, it goes from left to right, cheap to expensive. So we're okay, so basically we're looking this at this end. XSR, would that be a vibe? I mean, hit that and I'll hit this and see. <laughs> off the wall. <laughs> off the wall, let's take it off the wall. I mean, yeah, similar. That? About two thirds the price though, so. We'll, yeah, yeah. We'll rock them. We'll rock them, nice. That yeah. will get us a couple of crashes. A couple of crashes, riding hats. Yeah. That's all we need, isn't it? Yeah, let's, yeah. let's go and see what we've got in stock. Yeah. And then we can tally up cool. what we need. That's a winner, though. I'll keep that. Keep yep. that one cool. off the wall. We'll go and see what we got. So, we got we, symbols. We found lots of XSRs apart from rides. We couldn't so. find a ride. So, we've gone for what have we gone for? Something. And rather than open the box set, we've gone for a PSD8, which is okay. also very bright. Bright pingy ride. Bright nice. pingy ride. The and it's a 20, so I mean, if you want to hit it, it's a crash, it'll be quite bongy, really. Bongy, sound like a gong. Happy days. <laughs> quite gongy. Cool. Anyway, right. Symbols. Symbols. Big snare. Big snare behind you, and we've got the kit. Using floor toms as toms, got the kit. And it comes done. with all the hardware. Yeah. Comes with hardware. Sorted. So we're going to see how Dougie hits them. Yeah, see how it sounds.
So that was Bill Wall from Black Sabbath on a black Mapex kit. Yeah. But um, I think the winner was the, the affordable snare we used, wasn't it? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. A great sound for, um, yeah, not a huge amount of money. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah. big snare, lots of air in it, but also quite chunky bits of gaffer tape. Obviously, Moon yeah, Jail yeah. are really going to give you a little slice of dampening. We put big chunky bits of gaff tape on to get that dampened sound yeah man um, very retro isn't it that's a lot that sort of oosh sound yeah recorded i don't know what 50 years ago with probably cheaper mics don't know what room it was in yeah old yeah. gear so to, to try and replicate the older original sound yeah i think we did pretty good with that one symbols were good bright symbols yeah Yeah, nice fit the budget as well actually yeah yeah <laughs> the xsr really was quite they're quite nice sounding symbols for yeah. the money. Yeah, yeah, not too bad. The whole, Sabian have done a good job with that. Yeah, the whole yeah. Um, box set, if you bought an XL box set, it's only like a couple hundred quid. They're not crazy right. expensive for Brilliant. a whole set. Yeah, and as you say, the kit sounded great. The big Tom, well, floor Tom as a floor rack Tom. Floor Tom, rack Tom yeah, yeah, was yeah. the win. That's a good one. I kind of sort um, of had that in my head. Like we got For his sound, because obviously he uses like 224s, Right, yeah. He does yeah. use floor tom as rack tom and like 16, 18. So um, yeah. I was like, for us, a lot of budget kits don't tend to maybe have big 24s or even big rack sizes. It's something when you tailor your kit, really. But I thought, hang on, this kit's got two up, two down. We'll sneak it in with a yeah, yeah. no rack toms. As you say, if you bought that kit, you'd get the two rack toms. You'd as get well. them as well, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So it is. Um, Very versatile. We're just using that, those elements of it. But yeah, yeah. we got pretty close. Yeah, man. Stock heads as well, a bit of moon gel. Not loads of moon gel, actually. Obviously, we dampen the snare loads, but they're just one piece, top and bottom, easy. Yeah, man. And we just put a little pillow in the bass drum, so a little bit of muffling tweaks. Nice to play some rock grooves. and Classic yeah. rock. Classic rock. Did you Very feel like classic. 16 again, just yes. when you were learning, <laughs> learning to play again? Buff, baff, buff, baff. Yeah, Lots exactly. Of that. Yeah, yeah. When, nah, when you play man. a whole album, you're like, yes, yeah, I yeah. played something. Yeah, man. But um, it was just a bit of fun, and it's just to show how versatile drums are, and... For the budget, yeah, man. I think we got pretty close. Yeah, I think we uh, think we nailed it for the fifteen hundred quid. Yeah, and Happy it was, it's it's not a kit you go. Oh, actually, that sounded great for that job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and maybe got inspired to set your gear up or tune it in a slightly different way and just have a bit of fun. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah, so, yeah. Um, do subscribe, comment, check us out. We, if there's anything particularly you want us to play or any particular song of a particular artist, we'll, we'll try and fit them in. We're gonna keep going with the sounds like aren't we so yeah yeah um yeah i'm rob and i'm doug and we'll see you next time